Okay, now I'm committed. I said I was gonna do it. And now, hold on, can I turn off this reverb for just a second? Because that is a little obnoxious. Hold on, hold on, bear with me, hold on, hold on, hold on, bear with me, hold on. There, okay, so look, hi Sandal. Victor Johnson has joined. Uh, Claire does copy. That's the rumor. Hello, hello. Thank you for saying hi to me, everyone. You don't have to call me Mr. Doyle. You can just call me Bob. Bob would be great. Bliss Relaxation has joined. Uh, you know, every time I push the Start Broadcast button, it doesn't matter if I'm doing Law of Attraction stuff or voiceover stuff or whatever, I always get a little nervous and I always feel completely unprepared. Hello, PMA professor. I assume that's positive mental attitude. Hi, Marion. Nice to have you here. Oh, boy, the pressure's on. Uh, organic Pink Lady. Yay. Thanks for the yay. Um, okay, so, Xavia. Wow. Okay, so here's the deal. I have been saying since Periscope started that I scope me playing the ukulele. Hi, Gabby. And I, I don't know that, except for when I do it with Lynn on the Fun with Bob and Lynn show, I don't think I've really ever done it. So now it's time to do it. And, and the thing is, is that uh, I haven't, I, I do, I totally get nervous. I didn't used to. I'd gotten to a point in my life where I didn't get nervous about playing the uke or anything, but now that time is gone because I waited too long. Hi, Gerald. Nice to have you here. So uh, what I'm going to do here is, first of all, of course, be very transparent and in no way suggest that I've got something prepared for you. I do have a list of songs I'm going to do. Beat that resistance! Beat that resistance! That's right. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to beat that resistance. Um, so I'm going to play a few things here, and I do not promise perfection ever. In fact, one of the reasons I wanted to do this in the first place long ago was before on Google Hangouts, not, but this was before Periscope came around. And I was just going to turn on Hangouts and invite whoever wanted to come in and watch, watch, or no one could, and I would just practice. So that means mistakes, that means stopping, that means doing things over and over and over and over again. Just the whole process of getting better at the ukulele and finding my groove back. Vista California, howdy. Okay, um, yeah, like we're all some kind of perfect. That's true. But I do get in my head a little bit about music. Um, it's ironic because the uke, when I discovered the uke several years ago, yes, I discovered the uke. You can all thank me for discovering the ukulele. Uh, hi, Pink Julep. Uh, no, no, when I found it, um... <laughs> you thanked me. That's awesome. Um, when I brought the ukulele into my life, it was so freeing because unlike the piano and the guitar, I didn't have any preconceived notions that I should be perfect or get anything right or sing on key or anything. But then after playing it a few years, I started to reach a, a certain level of proficiency where I was like, well, okay, I want to get a little bit better. And then I got right back into my uh, perfectionist stuff. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is, like I say, I have a list of a few. How many have I got? Not that many. Five. And all uke songs are, are short. And so I'm going to do these. And if I screw up, I'll just stop and start over from where I screwed up. The whole thing. You know, it's like a practice session. But I am, of course, cognizant that you're there. So I am, my fingers are going to work a little bit differently. My voice is going to be a little bit tight at first. You know how it is. It's the whole nerves thing. So, so that's what, that, so what I'm starting with here is a song that I'm extremely comfortable with. That if you followed my scopes or if you've ever seen you play the uke on any of these things, it's the same stinking song you've heard a million times called Unspoken, which is a song that I actually wrote, which I don't write that many songs. Um, but hi, Mississippi. Glad to have you here. Um, but it's a song about when you are in a friendship with someone and you start to have certain feelings for them that you think might, if you were to say something about it, might mess up the uh, relationship. Anyone? Relate? Anyone's happened to it? No? No? I'm the only one. Okay, well, I can skip this song then. No, uh, so this is a song called Unspoken for obvious reasons. And I'm going to turn my reverb back on now, uh, because this sounds a little weird anyway, at least on my end. So hold the phone. It's not like I'm not doing lush, lost in reverb, just enough to kind of... And 
spoken all the words I have whenever you are near. I have so much to say, but I am paralyzed with fear. Unspoken are the thoughts that go on rambling in my brain. I want to get them out so much it's driving me insane, but they're unspoken. They stay unspoken. I get a special feeling like the world is all my own. It happens when we're standing here and when we're on the phone. Yes, I get a little shaky. I'm taken with a smile. I look into your eyes and just enjoy it for a while. But it's unspoken. It's all unspoken. I try to keep it quiet so I never rock the boat. But all the while the words are piling up inside my throat. And even though I think that you might feel the same way too, I never say a word in case it isn't really true. So it's unspoken. It stays unspoken. My heart begins to pound whenever you should come around. I want to tell the world about the love that I have found. But it's unspoken. It stays unspoken. It's unspoken. It's all unspoken. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first one is done. Ta da! Unspoken. Like I said, I'm, that's the one I'm most comfortable with. Thank you so much for the hearts and all the encouraging words and the word awesome being shown in my face. That's a confidence booster. You see? If I had gotten like, boo, you suck, uh, get off the stage, uh, I don't know. Maybe I would have, uh, who knows? So here's another one that I play often. Uh, it's a Harry Nilsson song. And because I am, of course, a ukulele enthusiast, but also a puppy enthusiast. I'd pick up Cody, but he is so lounged on the floor right now. Uh, this is a song from Harry Nilsson that is called The Puppy Song. You see, that way I get to blend puppies and ukuleles. Dreams are nothing more than wishes, and a wish is just a dream you wish could come true. Mm -hmm. If I could only have a puppy, I'd call myself so very lucky just to have some company to share a sip of tea with me. I take my puppy everywhere. La -da -da -da, I wouldn't care, but we would stay away from crowds and signs that said no dogs allowed. Oh, we. I know he'd never bite me. Oh, don't know. We. I know he'd never bite me. Oh, if I could only have a friend to stick with me until the end, just to walk beside the sea and share a bit of moon with me, I take my friend most everywhere. La 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 la, I wouldn't care. But we would stay away from crowds and signs that said no friends allowed. Oh, we, we'd be so happy to be. Oh, little dee, oh, we, we'd be so happy to be together. Because dreams are nothing more than wishes, and a wish is just a dream. Your wish could come true, your wish can 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 come true. Dreams are nothing more than wishes, and a wish is just a dream. Your wish could come true. Okay, that's two, two out of the five. The puppy song. Alrighty. So now, my hands are so sweaty, you have no idea. 
Not just the uke, your voice and style of music is fab. That's so nice of you to say, organic pink lady. I have fun with it. The uke unleashes the, the, the whatever in me. So let's, uh, we're going to do a couple, we're going we're gonna to pull it back. We're going to take it down. We're going to, we're going to, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens here. The falling leaves Drift past my window The autumn leaves Of red and gold I see your lips The summer kisses The sunburned hands I used to hold But since you went away The days grow long And soon I'll hear Old winter song But I'll miss you most of all My darling When autumn leaves start But since you went away, the days grow long, and soon I'll hear old winter song. But I'll miss you most of all, my darling, when autumn leaves, when autumn leaves. Start to fall, start to fall. Autumn Leaves, a little song called Autumn Leaves. How many of you know that song? I tended to gravitate toward, um, you know, standards for some reason once I found my way in the U. This has got to be a weekly thing. Okay, or you can't miss me already. I still got two more, two more to go. But you know what? I tend to go too long. I tend. This is one of the things I used to do at open mics. You thought you wrote it. Um, this is a. This mic is an MXL V57. I bought it years ago, dirt cheap. Um, but I tend to like push it, like push one too many songs or two too many songs. Like I, I and 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 I think I wear out the crowd. So should I stop now, or I've got these two more? I mean, that's, you know, I could stop now and, and totally feel an integrity that I did a ukulele scope, or I can do these two more. More, more, keep going. All right, all right. Boy, my hands are so sweaty. I need to, I'm going to turn on this fan just a little. I hope it doesn't... Um, Mess up the sound too much, but geez, BLTs. Mmm, <gasps> I love BLTs. Okay, I will do a request show another time. I really, I, I will. Soul Sister, I don't know. I have a very, I have a very, my range, my vocal range. It's, I mean, come on. I'm a bass baritone. Some of those songs, it ain't happening. Like everybody wants me to do Somewhere Over the Rainbow, the Izzy, you know, he's like, ooh, I ain't happening, his voice ain't going that high. So I have to do my own version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which I'll do at another time. All right, now this is going to stay slow the whole time. I'm not doing any ramp up, jazzy, sort of whatever, and then we're going to end it with one that we all, we all probably know, particularly, particularly, that's not a word, particularly if you uh, went to elementary school in the United States of America. That's the open loop. This one, not so much.
boy, it's, I'm sorry, but my hands are so sweaty. It's, it's a little bit weird. This is the last time I'm just going to play through, but my, it, my fingers are sticking to the strings. I remember you. You're the one who made my dreams come true. A few kisses ago. I remember you. You're the one who said I love you too. It's true, didn't you know? I remember too the distant bell and stars that fell like the rain out of the blue. When my life is through and the angels ask me to recall the thrill of them all, then I will tell them I remember. Tell them I remember. Tell them I remember you. Okay, I remember you. Probably best recognized from Frank Ifield back in the day, whenever that was, and he sang it, I remember you. I'm curious how many of you ever heard that song before, or no, I remember you. All right, now this is my closer, so it should be awesome and impactful. It probably won't be. And I haven't played it in forever. I just thought I wanted to end with something that was up upbeat so I'm having to cheat and look at the chords so I won't be looking at you because it's been too long but if you know this song if you know this song as soon as I as soon as you know this song I want you to uh, thumbs up or something something not I mean I'll take the hearts obviously because who doesn't like hearts am I right the hearts or a, a thumbs up or whatever here we go all right, all right, I'll stop apologizing, which is exactly what I tell people to do on my voiceover scope. So, all right, here we go. This time, I'm going to push the strings down with my fingers. Old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a yellow cat who wouldn't leave its home. He tried and tried to give the cat away. He gave it to a man who was going far away. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought it was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. He gave it to a little boy with a dollar note. He told him for to take it up the river in a boat. He tied a rope around his neck. It must have weighed a pound. Now they drag the river for a little boy that's drowned. That's sad. Oh, but the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. The man around the corner swore he'd kill the cat on sight. He loaded up his shotgun with nails, nails and dynamite. That seems over the top for a cat. Nails and dynamite. He waited and he waited for the cat to come around. Ninety-seven pieces of the man is all they found. Why, this thing's getting really disgusting. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought it was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. The atom bomb fell just the other day. The H-bomb fell in the very same way. 
Russia went, England went, then the USA. The human race was finished without a chance to pray. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. They thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. Stay away. Stay away. There's a lot of logistic flaws in that song as I as I read it again. Work in animation movies. Lovely voice. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. All right, I did it. I did my uke scope. I did it. All right, you need to do this every night to sing us all to sleep in the UK. Don't know it. Didn't grow up on it, but I love it. The oh, cat came back. Was the cat came back? How many? How many? Just real quick before I like end this thing. Let me turn off this reverb real quick. How many knew the cat came back from school? Like now you can heart heart attack me. Yeah. I mean, that was just I second grade. I don't know. And then I, I, I came across it the other day and I thought, oh, this just works really well with the ukulele. By the way, I didn't think about doing this before, but if you like the, if you like the Bob Doyle ukulele thing, I have a lot of videos up on YouTube from years ago. I mean, like at least four or five years ago. 2010 to 2012 was when I was really doing a lot of them. Um, and then I also have a, and that's, uh, uh, youtube.com slash boundless, I think is how you get there. Anyway, that's my username up there and you'll see all kinds of crazy crap up there, but you is part of it. And I also have a SoundCloud, except I can't off the top of my head. Think of maybe Bob Doyle music.com points to it. I can't really remember. Anyway, there's plenty of Bob you to be had. And you're right, I should do this on a regular basis. This is like doing my own this is like my own private open mic where twenty one people show up. I can tell you I've done plenty of open mics in real places where there's like five people in the audience. This is better than an open mic. Because they don't they don't give you hearts at an open mic. They don't. You know what they do? Is they look at the football game and they order drinks and they eat chicken wings and every now and then they'll look up at you. Actually, I have to say that the truth is when you walk up on um, a stage for an open mic with a ukulele, you do tend to get a little bit more attention because it's not the typical, you know, guitar singer songwriter thing. So they'll at least give you a song to win them over, you know, and you have to do something really like, whoa, I didn't see. And like playing a standard instead of like uh, Over the Rainbow or some Hawaiian song that gets their attention. And I don't do the whole I don't know one. I do not know one traditional Hawaiian song on the ukulele. Never once learned one. Started with the jazz standards. And that suits my voice and all of that. However, ironically, I'm going to Hawaii for my very first time at the end of this month. And I will actually be coming home from Hawaii on a red eye, four o'clock in the morning on my 50th birthday. Is that My whole life leading up to 50, and I'm going to be on a plane on a red eye on my way back but at least it's on my way back from Hawaii. Uh, and there I have been asked to play the ukulele. I don't know for how long, but for a group of people, and I haven't done this in a really long time, and I'm freaking out because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But I don't know what I'm going to do, and I don't know what kind of music they want, and I don't know if they want traditional Hawaiian stuff because then I'd have to go, like, learn it. Um, but anyway, so yes, so it is good for me to be doing this on a regular basis to get my ukulele chops back and be in front of people. So thank all of you, the 19, 20 of you who are here, uh, who, why, oh, why didn't you stay one more day? Stay one. I know. Well, that is a really good question. Um, or at least, or come home one day sooner. I, I don't know the logic. It's, this was a, this was a plan made by Lynn and I together and she's mostly in charge. Yeah, because we're actually going for an event that she, uh, with a group that she's a part of, and I'm kind of there as a guest, so I just kind of let her take the lead. But uh, but I am planning on, when I'm in Hawaii, buying still another ukulele for myself for my 50th birthday. I have several. Let me show you my most unique one. Actually, it's not it's not my most unique one, but it's different because it's, it's a banjo-lele. So it plays like a uke. 
but it sounds like a banjo. So my lifelong dream of learning how to play the banjo comes true in learning how to play one instrument. Okay, it wasn't a lifelong dream, but I like having that sound at my disposal. Okay, I think I've rambled on long enough. I've done my uke thing. I am going to, you know what I'm doing tonight? I'll tell you. I'm going to go see the B-52s at the Hollywood Bowl. Honestly, besides Rock Lobster and one other, I probably couldn't tell you many B-52 songs, even though I went to school in Athens, Georgia, the home of the B-52s. But that just wasn't really my thing, that music. However, I do appreciate it and the opportunity to go see them at the Hollywood Bowl. I'm totally not going to let that pass me by. So my goal here is to say goodbye to you all and take a little bit of a nap. A little snooze, a little siesta, if you will. Rest the old eyes. Get the body ready for an evening of fun and frolic at the Hollywood Bowl, watching the B-52s. All right, you guys, you are awesome. Thank you so much for joining me and supporting me on this return to the ukulele uh, scoping. Actually, it's not even the return. It's the many, many months overdue premiere of a strictly ukulele uh, periscope. Thank you. I did it, and I will just revel in that fact for the rest of the day and thank each and every one of you for being a part of it. All right. Enjoy. Bye.